I'm going to show you in the next minute or so how to easily remove a splinter with no needle and no trip to the doctor. You can see here I've marked a spot on my finger with a red uh, dot where people commonly get splinters and if the splinter is not easily removed with a pair of tweezers or if you pull on it with tweezers and part of it remains in the skin and you can't get to it, you can easily remove it with magnesium sulfate paste or Epsom salt crystals. You can see the Epsom salt crystals are a little hard to deal with, so I recommend using the magnesium sulfate paste instead. And let me show you how to do it. You just take a little bit of the paste, which you can easily get at any pharmacy for just a couple of dollars. Just put a little bit of the paste on the splinter area. Doesn't have to be perfect, just make sure it's covered pretty well. Then you take a waterproof bandage so you can leave it on for a couple of days and it'll stay on in the shower. If you only have regular bandages, that's fine. You're just going to have to redo it every time it gets wet. But if you take a waterproof bandage and then just place it on the area where you put the Epsom salt paste and leave it for two days, when you take the bandage off, the little bit of the splinter will have been drawn up to the skin and you can just pull it right out.